Hi, my name is John Morris, and I'm a dance educator and teaching artist. Creativity is one of the human qualities that I value most highly. I believe we are all creative. But how do we help our students develop their own creativity? And how do we create a supportive classroom environment to allow that to happen? This is exactly what we are being called on to do in this day and age when we are faced more and more with finding new ways of expressing ourselves, new ways of making meaning, and new ways of addressing many of the complex issues we're now facing in society. The problem is there's still a lot of confusion and many myths about creativity. That's why I've created this resource with the intent of, first of all, grounding you in some of the most commonly agreed upon findings of creativity research. And there is a huge body of research at this point, and it's growing every day. To help you ground in that and use that research as a springboard for your own discussion and exploration of what creativity means to you. Here's how the resource works. First, form a group of like-minded, interested people who can meet at least once and go through this discussion group format together. Before you meet, each participant should read the document provided with this resource, Creativity Overview for Discussion. Note your takeaways and questions to bring to the group discussion with you. During the discussion, I've provided a format that you can follow to help guide you through and have genuine open dialogue as well as a structured way of going more deeply into the topics. In terms of topics, topics, you could choose several questions related to creativity. Perhaps one of the most simple for a first meeting being, how do we define creativity? From there, you can move on to what are the implications for good teaching and learning? And you can perhaps conclude with what concrete actions can we take moving forward from this meeting? I do encourage you to have more than one meeting. This discussion group format is only a beginning. It's a launching point for a deepening inquiry, hopefully that will generate additional actions over the course of time and help us develop creativity in a structured, productive way in the classroom. I also encourage you to spread the word and encourage other people to go through this discussion group format as well. If you do have questions, comments, or insights about this process, either before or after your meeting, I would love to hear from you. My direct contact information is provided at the end of the document titled Creativity in Education Discussion Format, provided with this resource, or you can contact me through the Main Arts Commission. Enjoy the process, and good luck with your exploration.